Here's Chief Meteorologist Gannon Medwin with your first alert forecast. We feel lucky with the weather on this Labor Day, and so many of our neighbors are experiencing the goodness as well. It's a big hole in the radar coverage. High pressure steers storms away. Off to the south, there are some showers impinging on and moving into South Florida and the Keys and some up north in New York's Hudson Valley. So that's hundreds of miles away in both directions. So your forecast for the rest of today keeps it dry for pool time, grill time and chill time. Temperatures for the first time this weekend angling for the lower 90s before it's done. Let's get you outside with your West Shore home. First alert sky cam from Elizabethtown Broad Street Business 87. A sun drenched view. I'll tell you what those American flags Look good lining Broad Street, the business district any day of the year, but on a national holiday, they're a little extra uh, good looking. Let's get you to downtown Wilmington. The Murkison building view is severe clear here at 1217. It is 88 degrees, a light northwest breeze. Dew points up into the upper 60s now, so we have a heat index, and we're going to hear more from this heat index and feel it more uh, for the uh, next uh, couple of days, even after today. So not just deep 90s for the heat index like this afternoon, but 100, 102, 104, fair game the next few days. Also, these days are critical for the Northeast Cape Fear River at Burgaw, uh, probably our most swollen gauge in the wake of Idalia late last week. Uh, the river appears to be cresting. There was a time when the official forecast was for uh, a maximum stage of like 14 and a half, 15 feet. Uh, but for now, it appears to be leveling off in the low 13. So today into tomorrow, we don't want to sneer at that in terms of impacts. It is a moderate flood, but it's nice to see that that's leveling off and the dry and sunny weather is certainly helping with that. And the tropical scene, Idalia is long gone. Here's the remnants of Gurr and this is tropical depression Katia here in the easternmost uh, Atlantic. Uh, so those are high latitude systems. I'm not going to track them out explicitly. I'm interested in this one down here. And this is a disturbance the National Hurricane Center has dubbed Invest 95L. So gets that Invest tag. There's a lot of computer power that goes into charting it and modeling it and it really has high development odds over the next two to seven days and that's a track we'll need to uh, keep close tabs on as it gets toward the Caribbean islands. Historically, we don't want to turn our back on those. Not that there's really any data that explicitly brings it to North America. It's too early to say that's clear and if it does become a storm, we'll be calling it Lee. So perhaps get to know that name. All right, Bill, your seven day forecast here at home. Hot enough today, even hotter tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday. A reminder that even though it's past Labor Day and unofficially we're out of summer, meteorologically, summer is still going to flex here in early to mid-September. Back to you.